we have those right linear grammar given and we want to construct a left linear grammar that accepts the same language as those given grammar. And I guess if you understood all those steps, then it's easy for you to figure out how you do it even the other way around. The first what we have to do is that we want to construct an automaton that accepts the same language as the grammar. And our states, well, I showed it in detail in another video, I think, so I will just go through it. We will have um, we will have states named as our non-terminal, so we have our state S, which is our initial state because S is our in the, our initial our start symbol in the grammar, and we have those production rules S expands to A S. That well, let me do it in color. For that, we can add us add just this arc where we process those A. And for the next production rule, we can add this arc where we are uh, we we go from C to A, reading those C, and we. With this production rule, we just add an arc from A to A where we process a B. And for this production rule, we add another um, state which we call E for end or something or F for final, it doesn't really matter. Where we just read those B and we are in the final state. Now what we do is we change the roles of the initial state and the final state. So we will get an automaton that can read all those words backwards. I can do it in the same colors if you like. So our initial state will now be the final state. Oh, and every arc that we have will be the other way around. For this arc it just doesn't really matter because it begins in S and it ends in S, so it will stay the same. Then we have A. We have those C arc from S to A, that will be now the other way around from A to S. Those B arc will stay the same. And now our E or end state or final state or whatever will be our initial state and we will have we will have those arc from E to A which is just like that but the other way around. And what we now do is we create a grammar from this automaton so we will produce a right linear grammar that produces the words like this grammar but um, well the the reverse of the word that this grammar generates. So our new production rules, well, it's not really necessary to do it so formal. Well, you, you will know that these are the production rules. So we have our E, which is now our start symbol. And from this arc we read a V and go to our non-terminal symbol A and from, this, from that A we can read a B and again going to state A and for this arc we, we, we start in A and we can we can generate a C and go to state S and from state well S is our um, our last state so um, we don't really need to prose anything else so I can just add A um, just expands to C and for the for the last arc we can add S expands to A S or because S is our final state, S just expands to A. 
And now we can, we have to do the last step. And in the last step, we just turn around all those right hand side rules. So we will get our new grammar. Let me, well, um, I don't know how to call it. Let's, let's name it grammar L for left linear or something. Well, it's not a beautiful L. Something like that. And our grammar, our new grammar will consist of um, those non terminal symbols, so A, S, and E. And the terminal symbols will be the same as in our old grammar, so we have A, B, and C. We will have a new set of production rules, where I could name it um, PL or something. And we have our new start symbol, which is E. And now we write down our new production rules, which I, I can do them in color for you. One will be this one, but with the with a reversed right hand side rule, with a re reversed right hand side of the rule. So A and B. And for this rule, again, the right hand side will be, uh, sorry, that should be an arrow. A and B, just, so it's just the same as here, but just reversed. A expands to S and C. And so single terminal will just stay the same because, well, if you just reverse it, it's just the same. And now the last two rules S expands to S, A, or A. And now to show you how the grammar works, um, let me just do two derivations for you. Well, where to do them? I think I have to scroll. Um, I will just make the line here. Uh, first, I would like to do a derivation from the first grammar. So it's from the first grammar. I start with the initial symbol and I, I just try to use every rule so that you can see how it works. So first I, ex I use this rule to expand, so S expands to AS, and then I like to use that rule, and I replace those S by C and A. Now I would like to use that rule and replace the A by B and A. And now I replace that A by a single B. So our word will be that one. And now I use our new grammar, where I start with E as our start symbol. And I have just that rule to use, so I replace E by A and B. Now I want to create another B, so I have to use that rule. I replace A by AB. So that, that B here is the same as this one, and that's the one I get from that rule. Now I replace A by S and C. And now to get the last A, I use, oh sorry, there was just a little, um, I did a little mistake. That's not uh, a comma or a period here, but it should be an or. So now it's, now it looks correct. And I forgot to close those, uh, the the bracket of the set. 
now it should be correct. Now I replace those s by the by the single a. And now if we compare both derivations, um, let me just do it in a color. Here in the first step is where I generated the first a. And here is where I got it in the last step. And the same as well here I no. Here is where I got the C and here is where I got the C as in a second step. And well the third B is I the third B I got here in the third step and here I got the third B in the second step and the last B I just got in, in the last step in the first derivation and here I got the B in the first step of the left when using the left linear grammar. So just to, for you to see that both grammars generate the same language but um, the right linear grammar generates the word from the beginning and moves towards the end and the left linear grammar begins at the end and moves to the front. And that's how we created the, the left linear grammar and as I told you at the beginning it's, it should be easy for you to figure out how to do it the other way around so to convert a left linear grammar into a right linear one because you just have to do the steps I did here backwards.